All right, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Morph, uh, to the Morph Park project. And uh, today we're going to be working on the other side, so the uh, right side. And hopefully, it, once that is all done, it should be all fixed. So once we finish that up, uh, we are going to be adding some some of the rocks so that they look nice, and then it should be fine. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I noticed that, by the way, that it is a little bit more colder than normal, which I find it really interesting. I must say myself. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Need to figure out where to go from here. So, are these things are are these things in the one section over here? Probably not. All right. So, are these things then in this section? No. We're just going to be looking casually for the answer that we need. Alright. So I put it on a different layer. And no worries there though. Just means that we are looking for the... So it's up. If it is up that means that I don't have any harm here to go to the layer that I need already. That I already have. Um, so we're gonna be using these layers again. I believe. Not that one. This one. No. This one. I'm just looking for it. Hold on. Really? There you go. That's the. That's tap. And this is the right one. No. Hold on. Ah, looking for looking for the right stuff is really annoying sometimes. No. No. Is this one no? Main, the main idea here is that we're going to be using the same layer as before, before we're going to be starting. So this layer right here we need. This is the rock layer. We need that. We need the rock layer and we need then the ground layer for the grass. Alright, so these two layers we need. And we're going to be working on this one. So we're gonna put a we're gonna put a sketch down to make things all right, and then we're gonna be getting ourselves some nice little color. Not gonna be using that. We're gonna be using come on, there you go. So um, the idea here is that we are gonna make a sketch here, and then you know put these rocks there and there and there, and then you know we're gonna be filling this up. By making a filling, uh, by f uh, filling it all up in one in one space, uh, we then achieve the idea that we want. And then once that is all done, we're going to be you know perfecting those rocks that we have made. And after that, we're going to be adding some more details to the wood itself and to the environment on it. Because after this, I want to then move on towards the inner section, and the inner section is going to be more. Uh, tree-like. So you have roots in the for in the foreground, and then you have trees in the back uh, in the uh, in the upper part, and then in the midsection it's going to be that uh, tree appearance. And when you walk into a forest, you have this uh, view of trees going down and down and down in one go. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. So we're going to be fixing these rocks, and then after that we're oh, well, we're going to be drawing rocks, and then after that we're going to be making some new stuff. First, I need to figure out like how am I going to be drawing these rocks? Where am I going to be drawing these rocks, and how am I going to produce these rocks as a nice little base of operation? So we need grass, that's for sure. 
So then this doesn't work. Uh, I would have thought I would have known already, but I'm a little bit slow today. So I walked actually today again six miles. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. It's just you know it was a little bit of a rainy day, so it was like really cold outside, even though it's May. So technically it's supposed to be spring, but no, no spring allowed. At least you know that is what happens. So the next time I will use the next time I will get springs, it won't work. There you go. Is that a good idea? Maybe. Alright. So if I have a rock like this, then the rock should be like so. But I need to be very precise here. How I want to portray these rocks. So maybe like this. It's a good way to portray one rock. And then the other one needs to be more sharpened. So it needs to be like this. And then go upwards. So we'll have like this kind of environment. And then that's supposed to be going that way. And then go straight down. Alright, so we have a rock right there. That is a rock. Now we have a rock right here, so then the grass is supposed to be going like this. And the question is like, where do I want to have a second rock? Well, we're going to be having a rock right here. In the grass itself. Which creates this opening for us to continue on this grass. So we have a rock here. Um, how do we want this rock to be? I think this is a good way to do it. And have a like, you know... Put aside to balling it up like that. Yeah. Alright. So we have a rock down, we have a rock here, we have a rock down. Uh we can move that we can move this part particle part upwards. So we don't need to have that. We can move the grass till here. And I have another rock right here. It's gonna be mountain size rock, so it's gonna be like that. So then I need to have some grass affecting it. And then we're gonna have a gr oh, we're gonna have a rock as well here. So here maybe is that too much to ask? Maybe, but if we have a rock like this, uh, needs to be more needs to be more downwards. Or is it better to leave only grass behind? Well, the main the main idea here is that we are looking for the right moment, the right the right forming of these rocks anyway. Um, 
All right. Put it, put it. Ah, let's see. And this is supposed to be going that way. I could also say that I'm not want to have any rocks right here. Then the question is like, how do I answer this? Well, I know that the grass is going to be only until here, so I should definitely move some rocks here. But I'm not supposed to go for ordinary rocks. I'm supposed to go for like sharp rocks that are, you know. Hmm. No. There you go. So we have just a rock that works around like that. Yes. Excellent. So we have a rock like that. And then it's going to be piercing like this. And then we need to have a rock right here. It's taking up this part. Stacking up that part, then this is going to be a rock that's going to be overlapping, and then here is supposed to be another rock. So, like that. All right. Now that we have done the sketching of this bad boy. We are going to be implementing this to the back, to the back seat. So we want to have this. We want to actually have below this. And now we need to make sure that we have this properly set up. So first things first, I need to check. Yes, the calibration is correct. And I can now start with my drawing. So yeah, um, today uh, it is actually quite cold outside. Um, I believe it is only 12 degrees, even though you know technically around this time it's supposed to be like 30 degrees outside. So that's like a really really cold uh, spring, and uh, I am a little bit a little bit baffled and a little bit worried that it might not be a very great summer either. If it's going to be a, also a summer that is going to be like almost like this, then uh, I have a feeling that uh, I'm going to have a long time waiting for sun to come around. Because, you know, summer is not going to be there, so that's going to be a problem. Of course, you know, it's not a problem that much. It's just a problem that arrives while we're busy doing our our stuff. So yeah, um, hopefully, you know, this all this stuff will be done by, uh, hopefully uh, this all this cold weather will be done by to, uh, by Monday. If not, well, then it's going to be cold. Ugh. You know, doing a walk every single day and you realize, like, it is very cold outside. It is not very nice to have, like, you know, you want to go outside, but it's too cold to go outside or you're feeling like ah it's a little bit too cold maybe we should wait it out that's the feeling right now that I have I mean obviously you know it's logical that you know I have that kind of feeling towards it but still ugh. could at least have some decent spring or summer 
instead of uh, this cold weather all the time. I mean, if you realize that you know you actually could go sunbathing already at this time of year, and now you can't because it's too cold outside, it is uh, it's a sad story because you could technically sunbathe today, and then it's like no, and life says no to you, like no. We cannot let that happen. We cannot let you sunbathe today. How dare you? And you just wanted to have that sweet ass sunbathe because you know you want to have that cool skin, smooth skin of yours to be filled with nutrients of vitamin D. But no, the uh, the weather has spoken. Oh well, you know nothing is as unpredictable as the weather, I guess. So yeah. That's the idea of um, what I'm going to be doing uh, today. Just drawing rocks and talking about the weather. Because apparently, you know, that is so far the only thing I have been come in contact with today. Well, that I'm buying some, um, some food, but, uh, you know. Food is just food. It is good, but uh, it could be better. Could have been good food. It was. It was not the best food because it was actually not fresh. Apparently, you know. Um, apparently, I got one of those uh, when you make when you make a bun. You know, you know, a bread bun. You get the hardest version of it. It's like, mmm, mmm, lovely. So that's what I paid for, crackly bun. But uh, yeah, I. Uh, I kind of uh, got that in uh, in some food that was like ah well this is uh, very hard to eat. It was not bad though. It was not bad, but it is uh, it's a uh, if it is fresh it's far more mm, watery. Yeah, there you go. You're probably wondering what I'm what I eat, but uh, it was actually uh, <sighs> the words the words the words um. Cherry. It was. Uh, it was a. Uh, it was uh, some kind of. Um, some kind of uh, pastry with cherry in it. There you go. But the pastry has a like a heart. Uh, is hard from the outside, so it is like hard with uh, sugar on top of it. The main. The main problem with that is like you know if you don't have fresh cherries. Uh, the, it, 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 the taste is getting then lost in the progress while eating it, because technically you want to have those sweet as warm cherries instead of those uh, um, homemade um, cherries. No, no, no. Um, the ones that you can get out of uh, out of a syrup. Yeah, out of the syrup. Uh, the, it is very problematic because you taste immediately if it is out of the syrup. Or it is not, especially with cherries. So yeah. So I fixed that as well. Oh well, I did not fix it, but uh, I came to the realization while eating it's like, hmm, something is off. Oh wait, it's the cherries, isn't it? Yeah, it's the cherries. So yeah, um, a lot of the work I did. Uh, today was actually uh, making sure that I'm like fully practice on knowledge. Of course, you know that is always a thing that makes me go a little bit downwards in uh, in thinking a little bit because you know you're you're busy learning stuff, you're busy understanding the situation you're going into, and of course it's understandable that you learn stuff. Before you're going head in first, because you know it's it's always better to be prepared than not be prepared at all. Oh, what 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 the? Uh, God dang it! Hmm. Something is off here. Alright. Does this rock represent rocks? 
Probably not. This rock, by the way, is a little bit too uh, light for my liking, so I actually need to add some more uh, texture towards it to get it finished. Of course, you know, that is all doable, but that needs to be done right now. So yeah, um, I uh, I had actually a good time with walking and. Uh, I did not came across many things, but I actually had to guide some people towards the nearest uh, village. They had to go to uh, one of the parts that are, is connected to my uh, to my village, and, and they were like, "Hey, do you know where this is?" And then I'm like, "Yes, go that way, that way, that way, that way." Uh, I think I sent them the long way around instead of you know the short way around, but they will get there eventually, you know. Ask another local and you will find better solutions than me because I'm terrible at navigation. Especially without a map. I know how maps work, alright? I just don't... I don't recall where I went. I always recall things by trees and all that stuff. Not by names. Names is a, is a thing that I need to learn to understand. But yeah, the amount of stuff I did today was actually quite nice. I even worked on my drawing. That explains why we actually switched from white, uh, from yellow to uh, black in the uh, at the startup. That was because you know I have been working on the other drawing as well. Well, it's not a drawing; it's more like a cartoonish uh, thing, but eh, drawing nonetheless. I've been experimenting uh, with that drawing for uh, lighting. No, not lighting. Um, motion. Motion. There you go, motion. Because I cannot make it animated, I want to give the motion of, you know, speed into it. Like, you know, you have this meteor shower coming, that are coming straight down on you. And I want to make sure that the meteor shower looks like a meteor shower. Ah. Mmm, da da da. Eh. Let me just take a look at it now. That looks like a proper rock, right? Yeah, that looks like a proper rock. Nice. Of course, we're going to be adding some. Uh, of course, we're going to be adding some uh, color to it afterwards. But that looks like a proper rock. So yeah, it's important that we are keeping the rocks as rocks and not as you know anything else. It creates the effect that I want. And, uh, you know, of course this is going to be taking a long time before we are able to get from point A to point B, but I believe myself that this is indeed our way of doing things. I just need to get... Um, oh boy. I need to turn this around like this. Yes. I need to turn it like it so that I have so that I have movement left in my hand. And now we can start again. I really hate this. It's one of the hardest parts here to do. Because, you know, we're working on half our normal thing. There you go.
to create a rocky texture you actually need some square spaces or well not square spaces but fresh spaces there you go hmm Is this worth it? Probably not, but should be good. Now it should work. Come on. Don't say that you're saving here, my friend. No, alright, good. Whew, alright, concentrate. Um, do, 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 do. We have this side, we have that side, we need that other side done by its son. Difficulty. This is like, you know, a thing of trial of error. It's like, you know, you you want to have something done, you want to have this rock being looking great and all that stuff. Well, too bad. You need to figure out how to get it from point A to point B into cool looking condition. And sometimes people can help you, sometimes people cannot help you. Just, you know, take baby steps on this. And I already know that I need to do baby steps on this definitely, indefinitely. Alright, now we can turn around and see what we have left. We have one more rock here as well. You know, this low laying rock. Right here, and we have another rock right here. So first we're going to go for the low laying rock, because that is the easiest one to go for. The main issue that I'm always facing with these low laying rocks is like, you know, the amount of stuff I can put on the rock without getting the texture ruined. Alright, so that is looking decent, that looks like a decent rock. Once we're figuring out like, well this rock doesn't look like real, or this rock doesn't look real and we're gonna be fixing that up later. First we need to have a basic concept of it. Well, it is not a basic concept, we were already in the details, but we're gonna have like a better look on it and then we're gonna be seeing like ah oh, well we need to add this part up or this part needs to be added it and once that is all done you know we're, 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 we're good to go The main issue that we're here facing is that these rocks are hard to create because of all the, um, um, well, you know, the things that we don't have. We have not enough space to create rocks. So technically we're doing this on a very small budget of space. And then rock gets really, really messy. For instance, this part right here doesn't make any sense on that side. 
if we have a rock right here, we have like you know we have this. We need to have these open areas, but we can't because we don't know where the rocks are. So if we want to create this open space effect, Alright, now that we have that done, oh fuck's sake, ah, this is so nasty. See, this is the main issue what I have with this. Like, if I don't draw it on the right way, if I don't draw it the right way, the amount of uh, the amount of black uh, color that's gonna be inside of uh, uh, put into it because of you know the amount of stripes we draw, it's gonna be causing a lot of commotion. All right, so one more there, and then we're gonna be going straight here. See, this is this is way easier because these rocks, these rocks can be easily shaped and formed. Not like the other one because they have far more space in it. But the more space, the more difficult the rock gets. So the tiny little space, the more difficult the rock cre uh, creating the rock is gonna be. The less space you require, the more easy it gets. But the mo if you're gonna go for tiny spaces, it's gonna be difficult again because you cannot use your common um, signal to move, move to create the rock effect is the main issue. So we have a rock here, and then we need to have another rock right here. Hmm, interesting. Alright, cool. So we have these rocks right here and we can put another rock right there. Therefore this creates the effect that we want. Because now we have these these rocks on top of each other right here and then we don't want anything here so we have like a cluster, a cluster of rocks, lump of rocks being put together right. and I do not even have to start on the grass anyway the main issue with these rocks anyway is the amount of stuff that gets to be done <laughs> Hmm. 
Alright, so we have now these rocks, and now we're going to be looking at these rocks from another aspect, which is color. So first things first, we're going to add some color to this. Because we want to see what we know. Yes. We want to see what we know. Um, uh, let's see where it is. There it is. So if we draw these rocks and we add some color to it, we can see exactly how they behave and how they look. And then we can implement that into our drawing. Like for instance, these rocks right here, they are clean as... These, these rocks are clean. These rocks are good created, but this rock, for instance, is a very uh, needs some more needs some more tint to uh, darker parts right here and uh, here and there on the bottom side. And this part right here, I don't know what I feel about this, but it feels a little bit empty, honestly. But we can already you know see the difference between all the uh, all the types of colors that they have and now we're going to be adding some uh, good old fashioned color to it so well light light color to it so I'm just going to be showing you all what I mean for instance this this fellow right here needs um, We can already see what is going on here. I believe that's not the color that I want, but I'm going to be going for the light color right here. Well, we have the we have the normal color first. I believe I I believe we have not done the right color here. Oh, let's see if we can pick the right one. Right here. Yes, that is the color I want. Let's see if it works. And we drew it all with the light color first. Ugh. That's a mistake. That's a mistake I made only once. Um, Alright. Now we're gonna pick up a darker color right there. So. Now we're going to use the blend tool here to see if we can mix it up a little bit. Do they look like normal? This one does not look like normal rock. So we need to add that, add it that. Alright. So we want to have a darker color right here. Oh, it's the blend tool. <laughs> Instantly like, oh wait, that's the blend tool, that's not the right one. Uh, let's see, we want that color and we want to have a light darker. Can we do that? Yes, we can. 
Yeah, that's darker, but we need a little bit more darker. That's a good one. So we're going to be adding more dark color towards it to the bottom side, and then we're going to be adding some more lighter color to the right side. No, and then up here, yes. So, uh, now we need to grab this color right here, and then we're going to be adding some more lighter color towards it, so like this. And then we add, that's too light. It's too light even. No. Yes. Yeah. Close. There you go. And voila! Now you have a decent looking rock. Alright, so we, we, we can use this rock, we can use that rock, but we cannot use that rock. So we need to add it, that one. Um, how long? Alright, alright, rock drawings take way too long. I noticed that. Duh, cheese Louise. Duh. But yeah, the um, rocks take a long time to get from point A to point B. Why? Um, because rocks are very, very, very hard to draw. And they require a lot of precision and expertise in the subject. I mean, really, they, they are really. Sometimes they are just really dicks. When it comes to drawing rocks, because you know, we're drawing rocks, and then we're gonna be drawing grass underneath, uh, on on top of it. Well, moss, not grass. Grass is gonna be more lush. Grass is gonna be more lush, but I'm gonna be probably using leaves and stuff in the background. Also, I'm gonna be using the blur tool to lower the resolution of the of the midsection afterwards, so that it will look like you know a decent amount. But yeah, um, rocks are very nasty when it comes to these things. Most people don't realize that how much time it takes to just draw one rock. Well, it takes time to figure out how to draw the rock. Well, to color the rock at least. Draw the rock and coloring the rock are two things that I need to keep in mind. And sometimes, you know, drawing rocks is a very nasty piece of work. Because it takes so much time to get from point A to point B with rocks. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, yep. There you go. Probably that's better. Nope. That's ugly looking. Ah, come on. I can do this. I can draw rocks. 
It's always really hard for me to draw rocks when it comes to these things. Because, you know, it's not natural to draw rocks that lay... Well, it is natural to draw rocks that lay down, but it is very hard to draw rocks when you're missing the bottom part. Somehow that makes me, like, you know, unable to draw rocks properly. But yeah, I'm trying to do my very best here to get from point A to point B. This feels like a butt place. I don't want to have butt. I don't want to have a butt. I need to have a normal looking shape rock. Alright, let's take a look at this now. That looks doable. Alright, now if we add the color to it again, yeah, that looks far better than, than the rock that I had beforehand. Um, Why is that there? Don't want to have. We don't want to have these knots in it, please. We just want to have a rock that looks like a normal rock. Alright, that, the, 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 yeah, let's, let's go for this. That's some far, this is the best rock I can get, I can get to, without ruining everything. Probably a little bit here. Ugh, rocks. Yeah, that's better. Alright. I think I'll leave it there. I'll leave it then and tomorrow we will be able to color those beautiful rocks up and then uh, get to the grass hopefully without any problems whatsoever. But uh, yeah, um, I hope you all have enjoyed for today and uh, thanks all for watching and uh, I hope I'll see you all next time. And until then, bye!